Hey everyone, um, so I'm in a different room as you can see. Um, I am going to paint, I'm actually standing in my laundry room. I'm going to paint it today. Uh, hopefully I get it all done. My fingers are killing me. I did take some Advil, but um, we'll see as you can see. I mean, my knuckle is huge. Um, but anyway, so I want to paint my laundry room. I, um, this is, as you can see, let me just uh, show you a little bit about of what it looks like. So this is the color. I can't flip my camera around. It's making me crazy. So this is the color uh, behind me um, that my laundry room is now. At one point, it kind of went with the flow of the color of my house. But about a year ago, we painted our, well, it's not been, oh, maybe it has been a year. Holy moly. Um, so we painted our living room and our living room kind of flows into um, everything. It's just one open space. So this no longer uh, works for us. But let me just show you um, another reason why I want to paint. So there's a little story behind it. Um, I like to do projects and um, I bought a brand new can of stain. Um, this stain was unopened and um, I decided I was going to put it on my dryer and do laundry and didn't think anything about it. Well, I think you know what's coming next. Um, turned the dryer on, sat down on my couch and I heard a pop. The entire, uh, the entire can of stain fell off of my dryer, splattered everywhere, and as a result, I am left with this. Um, it's everywhere. Um, my dryer is pretty much ruined, and um, also, let's show you this. It's so embarrassing. So, this is like really ugly to look at in this color. Is it really... Um, I'm not really feeling this color anymore. So I went and got a more of a farmhouse look. And so I will be um, painting, it's called Sea Salt Blue. And um, I will be painting in here. And I will video as I go along just to show you my progress. And um, also, if you wanna see the color that we painted in our living room, let me know and I can show you that. It looks really cute, but my living room is a complete mess right now because I have taken everything out of my laundry room. Not, I mean, it's not like it's packed or anything, but yeah, if you wanna see that color, let me know and um, I'll show you everything, how it flows together. So stay tuned um, and I will be posting a video uh, a sequence of videos and I'll see I'm just now learning all of this YouTube stuff so just bear with me I'm new to it but I do have pictures as well and we'll do before and after and I'll do I'll be vlogging as I go along so um, I'll be back okay so now I am up on my ladder sorry I had to well I had to take a break and have some lunch I hadn't eaten this morning but I am up on my ladder now and I am um, taping all of my edges so um, as you can see behind me up on the wall I've already gotten all of that part and now I have you see this lettering on the wall I have to um, peel each single each one off with uh, my fingernails so I'm probably not gonna have any fingernails by the time all of this is over so I'm literally gonna peel each one off uh, one at a time so I went through this for years. This, I thought it was cute to have all these letters on the wall, which it is cute, but um, you don't think about it whenever it's time to take it off. Um, you have to take each one off to uh, paint because if you paint over it, it's just gonna bleed through your paint. So um, painting it takes a lot of patience. Uh, you can see my dog in the background. Um, he's grooming my English Bulldog. They almost, honestly act like a couple of cats. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, painting takes a lot of patience, but for me it's therapeutic. I love to do it, but I um, have to do it in strides because it wears me out with um, my autoimmune diseases. I have to um, listen to my body, so I can't do a whole lot all at once, but um, I do love to do it nonetheless. So um, That's where I am in progress right now, and um, I will be back soon. Okay, so I got all of the paint on, or the, not the paint, I wish I had all the paint on. Um, I got all of the tape on, and I had to pull down my nails, and then I finished taking off all the black lettering, uh, lettering, which took like 
a very long time I had crazy hair. Um, but I finally started doing the trim and I'll show you what it looks like so far. So I need a new light for this room because I think in the lighting doesn't, um, do the paint color justice. So, um, I have asked my husband to go get me a new light fixture because this is the one that I have. You can see it. It's just a little bitty light. It's just not giving it off enough light actually. So, um, but yeah, so everything is, I got the, as you can see, all the lettering is gone and I've started painting. Um, all the blue tape is up, um, all except for behind my washer and dryer. And I will do that last because I have to pull it out. So, um, but yeah, it's coming along. I will continue to video my progress. Okay, so now I have the first coat on. Um, I'm hoping that as uh, after I put the second coat on, you can see that it really is a blue color because it looks great. There, I just turned the... that didn't help. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far, and I still have, of course, all of that to do. So that's where we are in our progress. I'll be back. Hey everyone, so um, this is officially the next day. I was uh, really exhausted and the paint needed to dry before I could show you um, the final uh, result. But as you can see me, there's behind me, sorry, you don't wanna see me. Uh, behind me, there is no more orange or pink or whatever color that was. Um, it actually looks really good. I can't wait to get a new light because um, I think it will just make it pop even more. Uh, so I just want to show you um, the finished result. So I'm just going to kind of spin around the camera with the phone because I need I need to figure this out. And I know I keep saying that. So um, maybe I'll flip it around. But um, as you can see behind me the walls so um give me just a second and let me see if i can figure this out i'll be right back okay so i had to flip flip it around um i probably just need an iphone because it'll probably work better but this is what it looks like now i moved all of my decorations the dogs got a new um pay no attention to the floor because that will be next um, but the dogs got in new bowls and funny story is my little bulldog, she will not eat out of this unless I take the physically take the bowl out. It's hysterical. And then my, um, golden doodle wants to eat all of it. So they fight like brothers and sisters, but this is kind of the gist of it. Oh, so this cabinet over my washer and dryer, it was brown. It looked like the people who lived here before had just um, put like, they had must have had like extra kitchen cabinets in. And so I chalk painted them and um, put some distressed like wax on it to kind of give it that distressed look. So that's where um, that comes from. It is kind of off center, but you know what? Um, I'm not perfect and it works for me. So, and all of the stuff on the dryer is stuff that I'm getting rid of. And then I hung my, uh, dogs uh, leashes up and they thought as soon as I picked them up that they were going somewhere so the trim is still as you can see the trim still has stain on it and um, the floor is horrible so we are of course not right now but eventually um, I'm going to repaint the trim um, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit but you know just let the paint set before I start throwing more tape on the walls to do the trim, but I think it will look even better once that is done. Um, and hopefully I don't throw stain down on the floor anymore. Um, I got a new laundry basket. So it's kind of like farmhousey theme is kind of what I'm going for. So let's see if I can give you, show you what it looks like from afar. And I will also post pictures as well. Um, once I am, uh, once this is done. So if you watch all of the vlog, if you're remotely interested in my boring life, um, yeah, you'll see the before and after pictures at the end. Um, if you wanna see the rest, 
If you want to see the rest of my house, kind of like the farmhouse theme that we did, um, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, because I'm going to be doing a whole lot more things um, with this channel. I'm going to start uh, spreading my wings a little bit now that I'm getting the feel of it and I'm hoping to get a better camera eventually. Um, so maybe, you know, Santa Claus, give me a camera. Um, so, but you know what, we'll make what we have work and that's okay with me. I've grown up and having to adapt and I can adapt anyway. But yeah, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because you'll get notified whenever I post new videos and um, I have some exciting stuff coming. So thank you all for watching and I hope I didn't bore you too much and I hope that this video turns out. Um, I will talk to you all soon. Uh, have a good day.